In today's video, I'll be reviewing a backup power system, the RCT T1000S. Topics I'll be covering in this review are the batteries, the capacity and type, types of usage, and then my recommended applications for this device. Let me give you some background. Here in South Africa, we currently have what is known as load shedding. This is where the national power supply just can't supply enough electricity. So at hours at a day, for any given period, we do not have electricity or power. So we have to either look to solar or have our sort of home inverter systems. So this trolley unit has a built-in battery as well as an inverter. First with the capacity. This one has a one kilowatt hour system. If you have a TV, that uses 100 watts of power, this will power the TV for 10 hours. So electronic devices will be fine, but things like your drills and those high power demand devices are not recommended to be used here. It actually will beep. So if you try to connect a hair dryer, for example, or an air fryer, that uses a lot of heat and a lot of power this will beep this one happens to come with a gel battery now quick background you get gel batteries and then you get lithium ion batteries gel batteries are said to have a third of the lifespan of a lithium ion battery so for example if a lithium ion battery has 10,000 life cycles the gel battery would give you roughly in the order of three to four thousand life cycle okay when it comes to battery life another point to note is the storage life gel batteries win in the case that they have a longer shelf life so for example if it's not being used every day or multiple times a day if it's going to be stored and just pulled out whenever you need to use it gel batteries take the win but here in South Africa we actually use it a lot so lithium batteries are recommended but this RCT inverter comes with a very premium gel battery and I've been using it for over six months so far. I've not had any issues to date. As you can see, it charges with a standard kettle port in the back and it has two normal three pin standard plugs. Uh, it takes anywhere between six hours or so to fully recharge, but within four hours, mine's recharges. Going back to the battery, gel batteries are said to decrease lifespan the second it drops below 50%. So I only use mine from 100 to 50%, then I stop and recharge it. I never use it all the way down. There's two three pin plugs at the back. You can always connect a multi plug to this. You have the main switch at the back, which you when that is off, you can't use the device at all. It does allow for solar input, so it doesn't have to only be recharged using the kettle port. You can connect solar on top of your roof and recharge the battery that way. You have to switch on the LCD in the front. As you can see, that little power button inverter gets switched on and it bypasses electricity. You can connect a 12 volt DC connector, barrel connector in the front, or even a USB port. And as you can see, that little flick switch with this switches down you can't use the front console when the switch is on you can this device is actually perfect especially if you're working from home and you're getting your power interrupted it is a trolley so it does have wheels however it's quite heavy so i myself i move it from room to room if i'm in the lounge and i need to watch some tv there i can if i'm working in the study during the day i just cut it off or wheel it off to the study work there at night if there's load shedding and i want to watch some tv in the room I can also use it there. Another point to note when it comes to gel batteries versus lithium ion batteries is that gel batteries are a lot heavier. It's whatever technology goes into it. Just know that if you buy a lithium battery setup, it will probably be significantly smaller as well as a lot lighter. This model, the RCT T1000S, is roughly 40 kilo. So it's incredibly heavy to unpack, especially if you're buying it from in-store. So what I did was I bought it from builders online. They delivered it to my door. I did buy two of this, one for me and one for my parents. On my parents' one, it was defective. 
uh, but builders was quite quick on their response we took it back they swapped it out they, they honored their exchange policy i hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative if you are thinking of getting one builders has it for around eight to nine thousand rands that's roughly 500 us dollars the last point to note regarding how quiet or loud they are like i said i've been using this for six months or so i've had no issues they're incredibly silent for like the first four months or so in the past month and a half i've noticed the fans blowing incredibly loud i mean this doesn't strike me as a surprise dust does get into it it can't cool as much as it normally does the fans have to blow faster so just keep that in mind after about six months to a year it starts getting a bit louder than when you initially buy it thank you so much for watching as always i'm the revengers hammer stay tuned new videos coming soon